KKRate.com where we talk fashion and beauty for grown women. Today y'all we're doing a haul. I'm going to show you some of the items that I picked up recently. I will tell you where everything came from. I will show you how it looks on and I will tell you how much everything costs. up with all things fashion and beauty related to the grown woman hit that subscribe button down below you can also become a member of the crew by clicking the link in the description box and there you will get behind the scenes you'll get more lifestyle content from me and other things that I don't present here on my YouTube channel so if you're interested please also do that and join the crew I've been feeling lately like my wardrobe is just lacking like I need to rebuild it because I went through recently and cleared out everything. I moved and then I moved to a different unit within the same complex. So I cleaned out everything a second time. And I got rid of things that I really did need to get rid of because it is very important to purge every now and then. But I think what happened is my style has evolved and it's changed, which happens um, throughout the course of you know your lifetime and depending on where and what you're doing at that particular point in your life. So now I'm rebuilding. So I'm picking up items that are gonna be staples from, for me, things that I need in my closet and some basic pieces. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. So I'm gonna start off with jewelry and accessories, then I'm gonna go into shoes, and then I'm gonna go into the clothing items. So first up, I'm gonna do the gold jewelry that I've purchased recently. I like to separate my jewelry, gold, silver, um, and then like black or either solid colored jewelry. So that's what I'm going to do today. And this first gold piece is just a bangle. It's a Tory Burch bangle that I got from, um, I want to say from the outlets when they were having a really big sale. I picked that up and it is such a versatile piece. I wear it so, so much. Anytime I have on something gold and I want to add an accessory, that's an easy go-to bangle for me. So I really love that piece. It's solid gold and it just has the Tory Burch logo that's raised off the bracelet a little bit and gold also. And this piece, like I said, I got from the outlet and I think it was, no, I know it was $40. I think they retail for about 98, but I got mine from the outlet and then there was an additional sale. So that's how I was able to get it so cheap. Next up, we have this kind of uh, clamp style bangle. This is a Kate Spade bracelet. It's gold again. It has a little bit of a white detail here on it and it has a little bit of like a faux diamond detail on it here to give it a little bit of sparkle. I love this one because it's a smaller piece than the Tory Burch bangle so it's a little more of a delicate look. If I want something a little more feminine and not so out there I will throw this on but if I want to add something on top of my watch I will put this on top of the watch and then I'll put the Tory Burch one on my other arm so it balances out the look a little bit. This piece ended up being $24. I got this again at the Kate Spade outlet. I shopped a lot at the outlet that particular weekend and they had an additional 70% off everything so this ended up being dirt cheap. And last in the gold category are these beautiful leaf earrings. I love these earrings. They are so pretty. I these from Zara and they were $19.90. So basically $20. And I like these earrings because you can wear them as clip-ons or you can wear them as a traditional um, earring with a post. They have it... Um, I don't know they have this little contraption on the back where you can do either or whichever you prefer but I do like these earrings a lot they make a statement they're really really pretty it looks like folded gold and when you see the detailing on them up close it is so so pretty and you can wear this with so many things um, because it's just a solid gold piece moving right along we're gonna go into the silver jewelry that I've been into lately and as you guys will probably notice <laughs> Kate Spade and Tory Burch are kind of my go-to's at the moment for jewelry I also do like Zara's earrings a lot but this is the same bangle I shouldn't call it a bangle because it's not this is the same bracelet that I just showed you guys in gold this is also the Tory Burch bangle I got this for the same price it was like $40 from the outlet they always have these and they always have them on sale and it has the same Tory Burch logo that's raised a little bit off the band of the bracelet. And anytime I wear silver, the same thing. This is a go-to. Having solid colored jewelry is like amazing because it makes your jewelry choices and your accessorizing so simplistic. If you have gold and you have silver and you have black 
and then maybe you have a little bit of navy it's just so easy you don't have to think about it oh I'm wearing white and gold today then you just pop on the gold earrings and you just pop on the gold bracelet and bangles and then you're out the door this piece is from Kate Spade that same weekend that I went shopping I got this piece this was $24 and this is a little clasp um, bracelet it just snaps together like that and it has a little bow detailing here on the top that has like some diamonds some quote unquote faux diamonds some crystals here but it's really pretty it's also just like the other Kate Spade one in that it's a little more delicate and a lighter looking accessory piece than that big Tory Burch bracelet so I throw this on all the time when I want to add a little bit of sparkle but I don't want to go too all out moving along from jewelry I'm gonna go into shoes okay this pair I'm gonna show you anyway because even though I've had this pair for a long time, I have not worn them until just now recently and they are a staple piece. This is a black pump and it's by Coach. This is what it looks like. Just a nice, um, not super high heel, covered toe so you could definitely wear this to work. And then it has this detail that goes around your ankle which adds a little bit of spice to the look. It's got the Coach uh, logo here in silver and it's got a silver zipper. These are comfortable, they are very sleek looking, they look very put together and I really really do like this shoe. I got this on sale, I want to say at like Dillard's or Macy's was having like a shoe sale and I got these a long while ago. I think I paid $45 for these. So I understand that it might be frustrating that you probably can't go out and get them but this is the first time I've worn them and Coach makes black pumps all the time so you can easily go out and find you a pair similar to these next up is a pair of black pumps with a little bit of a tassel detail i got these from banana republic and i just bought these maybe two weeks ago this is what the shoe looks like this shoe also comes in a cognac color that i think i'm gonna get and it has this little tassel can you see them there we go little tassels on the front which gives it a little bit of flair it's not so plain of a black pump if you want something with a little bit more to it and it's like a faux suede material, but it's very thin. Um, so it's not like a thick, heavy, hot suede. <laughs> so it's not going to make your foot sweat. But these I got during the recent friends and family sale. Like I tell you guys, sign up for email lists. So they sent out a friends and family email blast. And we got to shop the sale with an additional discount before the sale went live to everyone else. So these shoes I think are $98 or either $120. I got these shoes for $48 and they came to me within a couple days. So these are from Banana Republic, Black Pump. I need these in my wardrobe. These again are staples. Okay, the next pair of shoes is a heeled mule. <laughs> they are white. I know it's after Labor Day, but I don't care. I wear what I want to wear. I got these shoes to go with this specific outfit, which I don't recommend because when you buy, you should be able to wear the item you're purchasing with multiple outfits and I will make this work for sure but it's this mule pump that I love I love so much it's comfortable it has this nice block heel on it so it's not too um, much of a stiletto and I also like this detail when shoes are made like this it has this little bit of stretch right here so that when your foot is in it and you step it has some give to it so that it's not so stiff and constricted on your foot so that it won't hurt <laughs> that's what that means it will not hurt and these are by report I got these from where did I get these from I got these from Nordstrom Rack they were on sale for $35.99 that's where I got these from and if I can find the link I will put it below everything I'm talking about I will link below for you guys and like I said about the coach shoes I probably won't be able to find those exact ones so I'll put a link to something similar but I really 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 like these shoes a lot and yes I'm gonna be wearing them after Labor Day the next item I'm gonna throw in here is not jewelry and it's not shoes but it is an accessory so I want to talk about it before I go into the clothing items and it's just this solid black belt I also got this during the friends and family sale that Banana Republic was having because I needed just a run-of-the-mill leather black belt that was not cheap, that was not going to fall apart on me, that was not like some Forever 21 type deal. I don't buy items like this from Forever 21 because if I need a staple, I, that means I need it to last and I'm going to wear it 
over and over again so I need something that's a little better quality than what they offer so this just has a gold buckle nothing fancy just a little gold buckle here um, square gold buckle and it does come with also a round buckle if you like the round over the square I prefer the square and yeah it's just a medium with black belt but I've already worn it so many times because you can put it with jeans on a weekend you can put it with a button down in jeans you can put it on with a skirt wearing to work you can put it on with uh, trousers that you're wearing to work you can put it on with a suit it just goes with so many items and again like I said I'm rebuilding my wardrobe so this is what I consider a staple let's move into the clothes first up guys we have this white shirt that I got from Banana Republic I got this on sale once again this shirt I think I paid no I'm gonna tell you exactly what I paid for it this shirt was $34.99 so it was $35 this shirt was originally $70 and it was 50% off and it's really really cute it has this nice detail on the sleeve which I like a lot um, it has this like wide sleeve but this part of it fits regularly and then this wide part starts about right here on your arm so it's just a really nice detail um, and it has these little like cutouts you can't see it but it has these little cutouts right where the flare starts so it just gives it an added look of texture when you have it on and somebody sees it it looks really really nice and it's really soft it's just a cotton shirt but very well made I love it I have worn it so many times I've worn it to work I've also worn it with jeans and with those white report um, healed mules that I just showed you guys so this is a really good piece and yes I will be wearing this white shirt as well after Labor Day cuz I do what I want next up we have a pair of jeans these are also from Banana Republic and this is interesting because I don't normally buy jeans from Banana Republic I honestly don't think I own another pair of jeans from Banana Republic but I liked the detail on these I like the stripes um, and so I got them and then once I got them and tried them on I really really like the fit of them they're fitted, but they're not like super tight, like, you know, when you're 20 and going to the club, super tight, but they're not wide leg and they're not loose fit. They're not like a mom jean. So they're like a grown woman type pair of jeans, <laughs> but this is what they look like. So you see the bottom is um, not wide legged, but it's not a straight leg either, but it's not a skinny. It's like perfect. I love them. And I like that the stripes go horizontally here and then everything else is vertical. It looks really nice on. And they have give to them. So these are really, really nice. And these were again on sale from Banana Republic, like I said. And I paid for these $30. Y'all, some sickness is trying to get me, but the devil is a lie today. I don't know what is going on in my throat, but I will not be moved again banana republic so <laughs> y'all know i love banana republic i really do like their items for me at this age and stage of my life are versatile i can wear them to work but i can also wear them out and i can also wear them on the weekends so i really do like them and their clothes are decent quality clothes they're not the absolute most amazing quality but they're decent quality you can launder them at home you don't have to worry about taking every single thing to the dry cleaner that you get from banana republic and um, I wear them over and over and over again and their pieces are on trend so I really do like them so this is a um, this like forest green dress which is really pretty it's sleeveless but it has this really pretty ruching detail here um, on the side which is such a nice little just pop and it goes all the way down it hits me at about my calf a little below my calf um, but it's just so pretty and it's simplistic but you can do so much with it like that dress with these gold earrings is so pretty because the gold against that look how that pops it just really really pops and it's really really pretty this is going to transition into fall as well really easily because of the color even though it's sleeveless you just put a blazer on with it and because of this color you're going to be able to easily transition transition that piece into fall no problems that dress I got on sale as well during the friends and family sale that actually is a new item so it wasn't a markdown item 
but because of the discount that I used from my email list code that they gave me, I ended up getting that dress for uh, $45. And you guys saw this in my last haul. If you haven't watched that, the Mango and the Zara haul, I will put a card up here so you can go check that out. This, these pants were in that haul, but I wanted to show you guys the pants again because you'll see them in the cutaways that I hemmed them and was able to get them to fit like I wanted because they were so super long. That was the first time I had ever purchased from Mango when I did that haul in the last video and I didn't realize how long their pants come. So these I ended up hemming myself at home and they came out so nice. You cannot tell they fit so well. I love the way they hit the ground with heels not hit the ground but the way they hit my foot when I have on heels it looks so 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 nice if you guys want to see how I do some of my small less detailed alterations at home so that I can get more wear out of my items then thumbs up this video and leave a comment below that says hashtag alterations and I will show you guys some of the small things that I'm able to do at home don't cost a lot of money like I'm talking under five dollar type fixes so that you can get the most wear out of your items if you like this video, definitely subscribe before you leave for more similar content. I post weekly. If you want to see more hauls, leave those comments down below for me. Tell me what you want to see. Tell me what stores you like. I'm thinking about doing a pre-fall haul or a transition video to show you how to take your items from you know, spring, summer into fall, winter. So I think that'll be fun and useful for you guys. And until next time, y'all. Bye.